Update. I-19F. Think my BF, 19M. Might be cheating on me with his best friend's GF. Original post. So here's what happened. I showed him the screenshots. And he didn't deny it. He cried for a long time. Said he was sorry. Didn't know why he did it. And tried to blame it on me. He said I didn't feel like having sex as much. And he picked her up from work. And the rest was history. That's no excuse. When you have an issue with someone. You tell them and figure it out. You don't run to someone else. And you don't cheat. And I told him as such. I didn't know we had even stopped having sex as often. I thought it was pretty satisfactory. We were at the cabin at the time of all this. Which is two hours from home. It was Saturday night. And the weather was bad. So we still stayed the night. He slept on the couch. And we went home before my parents woke up. I texted them to let them know I'd talk to them later. And we went home. I cried a lot. It was a lot to take in. You think you know somebody. But they're actually much different than you thought. Realizing that I didn't really know who he was anymore kinda helped me come to terms with it all. We got home. He packed his stuff. And he was gone. He's living with family now. And who knows what he's doing with his time. He was laid off work too right before this. He reached out to me and asked how he can help me. What a laugh. I said he needs help. Because he honestly does. The only thing you can really ask for in this situation is that he doesn't do this to anyone else. I genuinely hope this makes him get his shit together. Monday morning I had an interview for a promotion at my job. It went great. And I worked a bit of overtime all week. Made myself a cheesecake. Rearranged my room. Got some good wine. And watched some movies I'd been meaning to watch. It feels good. Today I got the promotion. I start this coming Monday. I have the house to myself this weekend. And I'm gonna get some things done that should have been done a long time ago. I want to take care of myself the way I always should have. And be spoiled the way he should have spoiled me. I don't think I'll date for a while. The idea of sex and a relationship just seem a bit off to me. But I won't be like that forever. I want to establish who I am a bit more before I jump back into the dating pool. I'm really excited. It feels like a burden has been lifted from me. I never realized how long overdue this actually was. There's still some stuff I have to give back to him. Which I will sometime. But I'm not hurting anymore. And I won't let this hurt me. I cried over him enough that this doesn't deserve more tears. Thank you guys for everything. P.S. I sent the screenshots to his friend. But never heard back. Apparently his best friend and the GF cheat on each other constantly. But neither knows. Hope he's prepared for that dumpster fire. TLDR. BF was cheating. Got kicked to the curb. I'm doing great. And hope he gets serious help. Op. Congrats on your promotions and also do the right thing. Kicking your deceitful BF to the curb. You have a bright future ahead of you. I kinda jealous to be honest lol. I found out couple months ago that my shitty husband cheated with his close friend which that close. Friend also formed a friendship with me. Realizing both of them are snakes. So. I get how you feel. Had I known sooner and without kids involved. 1000% am gonna divorce his low fucking ass. Cheers to you. Op. Sis. Let's fucking goo. Look at you. I'm so sorry he did that to you but holy crap. I'm so proud of you for confronting. Standing your ground. Communicating he fucked up and picking yourself up like that with some inner reflection. Damn. That's a ton of respect. Congrats on the promotion too. It's all about going up and up from now on. By the way there's no shame if you still encounter some days you get sad or wanna cry. Emotions do that to you unexpectedly sometimes.
This Reddit stranger is insanely proud of you. You live your best life and keep on advocating for yourself. Sis. Congrats. Wow. I read your original post those texts would have made my heart fall out of my ass. And hearing him reassure you all while knowing he already had cheated is just. My god. I am so sorry. Slash. I am glad to hear you're not hurting and that you've learned a lesson. It was painful. But it's over. Here's to healing. This is the healthiest post I've read this week. You're ticking off all the right boxes. Just realize that having good friends to share some time with is invaluable. Especially when you're recovering from the loss of a love. And you still have some grieving to do. So don't try to pass it up. Better to face it now and get it out of your system for good. Be well. Damn you're good at breaking up you should write a book wow lol. Fuck yeah. You got this, sis. Seeing all this about a promotion. Cheesecake. Wine. Redecorating I'm just like fuck yeah. This dude was an ass. He had no sympathy for me to begin with but as soon as he tried to blame you. Dude. It's exactly like you said. When you have issues, you communicate. You talk about what's going on and fix it not jump into the backseat with the nearest available person. I'm so glad you're doing so well right out of this. I know you said you're doing okay and you're right he doesn't deserve your tears. But please take a bit more time to fully process this and not just bury it under work. It helps you've had so much good follow so much bad but don't let it catch up to you later. Wish you the best. I hope you keep up this good streak and get the best you deserve. Good for you. Congratulations on your promotion. I know it was hard but you did the right thing. I am loving your update. New chapter already looks amazing. It's not over yet op. If you haven't yet please go get tested. You mentioned they all sleep around. So make sure you are healthy too. 10 out of 10 handled that like a champ. Never forget that with an attitude like this you're a catch. Don't let this experience tear you down. It seems you're very mature and know what you want. I wish you the best for the future. I can't say that it won't ever happen again to you. But at least you're wiser and can look out for warning signs when they occur. Congrats on the promotion and losing the bag of shit. Remember to get yourself tested especially since she cheats regularly too. Man, hearing cheaters get what they deserve is awesome. Props on the promotion. Dump the whole person bro. Cheaters deserve no mercy. What a loser! Exclamation mark. Good on you for getting him out of your life and congrats on your promotion. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Thanks for the update op. It's great that you are in a good place mentally. And making healthy choices for yourself. Love to see it. Congratulations on the promotion. I hate when people gaslight and try to place blame on you. Even if the reasons he cheated are accurate it does not validate or excuse his actions. If he feels truly sorry and accepts full responsibility then the chance for reconciliation is possible. But with him gaslighting you it puts doubt on the side of him feeling truly sorry. And that's a huge red flag for me. That being said if he simply acknowledged why he cheated that's one thing. But it's a whole other thing if he turned it around to get mad at you and start saying it's your fault. Hey, congratulations on the job and also getting out of the toxic relationship. You never know this must be a blessing in disguise. I have also been here some time back and today when I look back. I am glad that I broke up with him and took that promotion and moved to another city. Take your time off and discover yourself.
You never know what is there for you in the future. Big love. Wow. My only wish is that all women love and respect themselves as much as you do. Damn. You are a force to be reckoned with. I anticipate this man will be groveling for you for years to come because he knows what he had. Now he gets to see what he's lost. I am so sorry this happened. I also can't believe the audacity of this guy. He was cheating on you while you and your family were supporting him. How dare he? And then for him to gaslight you and blame you for his cheating. Holy shit. Stay strong. Don't take him back. And block him. You will never heal properly from the hurt and his betrayal if you keep talking to him. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.